So the Sutton Trust is driven very much by the moral imperative for improving social mobility, or narrowing attainment gaps between poor and richer children. But there is a very strong economic case for that as well. And the work that we've done with BCG, with Boston Consulting Group, has shown that there are huge benefits in terms of increased uh, economic productivity if you get those poor children to do better in their education. So the question we're asking ourselves today is um, why underachievement's happening and whether we can really make a good case for, for intervening. And there's, there's really two points of view on this. One is that there's a lot of wasted talent in the, in the UK um, and that children, if they were given a chance, who are currently underachieving, would do really well. And there's another argument that's really these, these kids, they haven't got the talent and that's why they're not, they're not doing very well. Of course there's a middle ground there as well. I mean, perhaps even if um, children aren't going to earn a huge amount of money if they go to university, they may well do well in, in other ways. They may well have you know, better health, less crime, all these other kind of arguments. It's terribly tempting to be far too concerned about the economic effect of these kinds of schemes. Into university is a great scheme. Now, it changes people's lives, changes young people's lives in a way that means that probably they're going to end up going to a university which they might not have done, and that probably means they're going to earn much more than they would have done, which is good for the economy. But that's not, I think, why we should be so excited about it. It's not why the founders thought it was a good idea. It's not why the people who work alongside the young people really want to do it. They want to do it because it's just good. There are enormous inequalities in the UK at the moment, inequalities of education, opportunity, and inter-university is a way of breaking down those things, of course they have economic side effects and those are very positive, but the real reason we want to do it is simply that it's right.